Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be my second look at Montez Ford. We want the smoke. Uh, so my first one, I didn't have the plate removal currency to put the boss plate on, which I really wanted to. And um, I spent a little bit more time after equipping the boss plate, working out a couple more uh, builds. And very excited with what I came up with. And he's uh, even better than I showed in the first preview. Uh, by a good, uh, a large enough margin that I felt like I needed to do a second video. So here we are. Uh, for the strap, uh, I do want to call out I am using all Fury. And that is important, very important for all of the builds you're going to see in this video. Uh, they all are going to revolve around needing to go double Fury. And stacking as much purple gem damage as you can. Uh, the boss plate makes a huge difference as well. You're definitely going to want a boss plate to do this in most of the cases to get the max potential uh, on your pins. So let's take a look at the metals. You can see this is a max gem damage with a big purple stat. Uh, this ideally would be a percentage move damage metal. It would help a ton, um, but I don't have one. So there it is. It also doesn't have purple uh, gem damage on it. This has purple gem damage. Don't really care that it's not a good um, primary stat. We're just hunting for this purple gem damage. And uh, same thing on this one. Okay, boss plate equipped. If you don't know what it does, whenever you break six or more yellow gems, make six random gems into cross break gems. We're going to use that uh, in some of these builds as our finisher, essentially, as well as to make the finisher a bigger pin. So starting off, we're going to go with From the Heavens 10 MP Finisher, deal 201,000 damage and choose a 2x7 area to swap into blue gems. Then we're going to go with the Diving Crossbody, deal 70k damage plus 81,000 bonus damage for every purple gem. This is the move that we're going to be featuring in every one of these videos here. Absolutely uh, key, and this is why, right here, why we want as much purple gem damage as we can. Uh, that's a 6 MP move. And then the standing drop kick deals 68,000 damage and choose a 7x1 area to swap into yellow gems. All right. Entourage, you can see here, we have Kofi and Lawler for uh, more MP to start on blue and yellow. Lacey for 20% more purple gem damage. Percentage is the key on everything for this because it's so high. That brings us up to almost 100,000 damage per purple gem. And then we have Zombie Charlotte. Um, increase 25% for yellow gems on the initial gem board. So let's get out here and see what this looks like in a match. Be going against Ivar and all of these. Showboat versus Powerhouse. 5-star gold versus 5-star gold. I do have tour perks of plus 2 MP and plus 1 in a match. Um, so right out the gate, we you can I want to call out with the strap, you can see we're up to 176,000 bonus damage for every purple gem. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So let me do the math on that real quick. 176,000 times eight. That's 1.4 million damage we should do. Let's see if that's what we actually do. one point one four so i would assume that takes his gem defense into account and um lowers the 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 max on that purple and that's what we're not seeing so visually it won't be as hard as you hit um if they have gem defense uh the ai has 50 percent here uh usually players don't have near that uh so there's that now this move um so as not to cause a pin, your best bet is almost always to drop it on the top row or the next row down. The one thing that can, um, you're, you can drop a three cascade and it's fine, but if you do uh, more than that, it'll cause a pin. So one in seven chance we land here. Alternatively, we can drop uh, it here, but you can see if the wild card lands here and these fall down, it creates a cascade and the same thing here. So it's actually a worse chance. And then the farther down you go, the more chances you have because the gem board is going to shift by one. So you might as well almost always um, go on the top row. That's going to do two things for us. Fire the boss plate off, which is key. And then reload this move and fill the finisher. So now we have more purple gems on the board. We can hit this again. 
and do another, this time 1.4 million. So we're at like 2.5 or 6 million done, something like that. Now we have our finisher, and this is where a gem percentage uh, metal would come in huge for keeping them down. 133% one, we would be, you know, probably upwards of 450k before the choose area. So at like a, a level 15 tier 4 max one. Uh, but we do have the gems out for the boss uh, plate break. And if we put it here, we're going to catch this one and these ones, and this will catch that. So we should get a lot of additional damage, and we've weakened him, so hopefully he will stay down. A couple more cascades for us. 600k. Hopefully keeps him down. It does, even with some cascades. Uh, so really strong moveset. Boss plate helps it out a ton. Obviously, uh, quite good. Now, if you wanted to not use Kofi, for example, because your Kofi's tied up like a lot of people's is, if you had um, Demon uh, Balor, Mutant Balor, it would be amazing for the finisher in this build. You would just replace him with Kofi um, and do one less rotation of that, but get a bigger pin. Um, rotation of the diving crossbody. Uh, in my case, I don't have it, so I'm just going to put a yellow finisher, not finisher, uh, move damage guy on and you can see what it would be like in case your Kofi is tied up and you don't want to use two MP trainers so we will just throw Orton on right here that should give us almost a 300k finisher I think yeah 292k everything else will stay the same uh, we're not going to be able to hit the diving cross body right away so we're going to lose a lot of damage this is just to show another alternative uh, and what that might look like the pin will be bigger, but we're going to take off less life. Obviously, Mutant Balor would make this much more appealing. And so the bummer here is we have three purple gems. That's 300k damage plus. That's actually more like 450. Uh, so I really don't want to take that spot. Um, and we could go here. This is a long way down the gem board, halfway. Um, let's just risk it for the biscuit. It worked out okay. See how hard this hits. 2.1 million, and now we should have a bigger finisher. Let's see how this works out with our cross breaks. All three of these are in a row, that makes it nice. We'll also catch this one, uh, so let's get this bottom one too. Very nice. Little cascade action as well. That's 800k on the finisher. Let's see if he stays down. He does. And keep in mind, this is with a really bad metal. Um, if you have a better metal uh, with Fury. And if you're thinking, why doesn't he just run armor? It's because we lose a ton of damage on uh, each purple gem. And it's, as you've seen, it's very big. Okay, next move set. Um, this one is really good too. Really, really good. We're going to take the finisher out. And put in the rollover leaping clothesline instead. Which is um, deal 79k damage, I believe is what that says. And choose six gems to make into purple gems. I'm sure you get the idea of what we're going to do. Instead of... Um, we're going to do a percentage purple gem damage trainer, 35%, in Seth Rollins' uh, The uh, Undisputed Future, which is really going to buff that diving cross body. And then, uh, because we have a choose move, we are also going to take out Zombie Charlotte and add in Hall of Fame Eddie that everyone has. Uh, if you got him to 17k, instead of choosing 7, we'd be choosing 8. Uh, so even more damage there. Alright, let's run it this way. Uh, again, just Lawler in use here. Uh, it's pretty impressive how much damage you can get out. A little bit of, of luck uh, on the starting board helps. So, you know, we have quite a few purples, so this should be pretty big. Um... 
I don't want to go down one on this one. Uh, if we get a yellow, we'll cascade the purples and a better chance of pinning. So even though it's got two purples, I'm going to risk it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat them up on the top row uh, to try and not cause a cascade. So we're fine with one like that. Sadly, we got no purple. Boss plate goes off. Now we have our choose move. So with this, you want to set up your choose move so you can get maximum destruction with your cross breaks. So I think I want to do... I really would like to be able to get a little bit more out of this than I can. But it is what it is, right? Um, nope, that'll cascade there. Ah. That'll work. Okay. Just trying to get as big a break as possible. And then, um, not force a pin or cause a premature cascade here. All right. So we have a bunch of purples on the board. 200k <laughs> per purple minus what he's got. So we hit for a crazy 2.6 million. And now we have a swipe here uh, into the cross breaks for the pin. Baby Cascade, not the biggest pin. That's the downside here. 400k. He did kick out. We did reload the yellow. Um, so I think a lot of times this will be turn two. Um, in Feud, for example, but keep in mind if you have a gem damage uh, buff or perk in Feud, um, you're going to hit even harder, uh, plus the cross breaks is going to help a lot. And you're not using any... Um, you're only using one MP trainer this way. Again, we have more than enough to kill him, so really... Um, Technically not kill. We have more than enough to pin him and knock him out. I should probably say that right. So just throw some purples out. Boom. And this would hit for a ton. You're going to just wipe people's health, melt their health. Then it doesn't matter where any of the cross breaks is fine. Just enough to get the pin. Okay. So pretty good moveset. Pretty strong. Um... Which brings me to the next one, which it's kind of ridiculous how much you can do on turn one with this next one. We're going to keep the same build set and the same trainers, except uh, instead of uh, Rollins there for purple gem damage, we're going to bring Kofi back in and do a double tra MP trainer setup. So the diving crossbody is 7 MP. So in feud, you would need a line bonus of 1 for it to work this way, plus 1 MP. And actually, um, I think the next one is a showboat with more health, which I actually want more health for this. Perfect. So the benefit here is the choose purple is loaded right away. Uh, bad board with only three purples, so keep that in mind. Also keep in mind Adam Cole has 5.3 million health. 
Let's see if we can drain. Just tossing purples out. Actually, I had more than three. We had five. Apparently, I'm blind on the left side of the screen today. Uh, we don't want to put any at the top, though. Let me clarify that. And I'm so blind, I caused a three cascade. So that cost me a bunch of damage, like 450k. Okay, 1.4 million. Should have been 2 million. And it also cost me a turn. Because of the Cascade. So I'm running this one again. And hopefully playing it right. But also leaving it in the video because you're not always going to play perfect. And I did it wrong again. <laughs> because I was supposed to do the choose move first. And I'm on tilt. So instead, um, I'm going to go with the cross breaks uh, to hopefully get the board blown up and recycle a little bit so we can get this match uh, over and onto a proper one here. Yeah, that's going to go down there. That's going to go across there. Let's do... And maybe keep him down anyway. Or not. But it's fine. Again, top row is where you want to live with this move. Much less likely to cascade. As I cascade. And then you're going to want to set your purples up so you can do like a row break, pick up the cross breaks. Uh, we're going to do more than enough damage to wipe his health, so you just need enough to pin. Like that. Okay, we're going to run this again without all of the mistakes by me. You can see, still extremely effective, even when you play it absolutely terrible. It's so easy, even a caveman could do it. The other thing it's really good for is uh, picking up loot box gems with the cross breaks. You're going to uh, max most of your loot boxes. Just as a side note. I'm sure everyone was interested in that. Okay. Let's try this again. This time without the mistakes. Hopefully. Because I am pretty positive that this 5.3 million health pool will be gone on turn 1. Uh, given the proper play here. Two, three, five, six. Alright. So we're going to do the choose move first. Leave the top row alone and not create any uh, silly cascades. Alright. And this should be a pretty big hit. Probably what? A mil and a half-ish? Oh, we're closer to two million. Alright. Okay. Now we're going to go on the top row and not cascade. I hope. Like that. And this time I'm going to choose the purple gems before I hit the move. Ideally, again, not causing a cascade. Uh, in fact, I will use this as my spot to swipe into. And the top should be relatively safe because we just cleared it out. 
And the more glowy things I get, the harder it is for these old eyes to see. Uh, that looks good. Let's try it. All right. He's got 2.9 million health left. Do we take it all right here? We do. So that's over 5.3 million damage done turn one with Montez Ford. And now the swipe to put it away and do a bunch more damage. So minimum, we did 5.8 million damage turn one at a minimum. Who knows how hard that last one hit because it only goes off of their health pool. So guys, uh, is Montez Ford good? 5.8 million damage turn one. Um, tells me that yes, yes he is. Should you chase for him? Yes, yes you should. Uh, so let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this uh, extra run of Montez Ford. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's do one more thing. As much as I want to end it on that high, I feel like there's another build possibility out there. Uh, even though I think the one I just showed you is the best. Um, I think this build set has a lot of possibility with the exception of you want to put the time once again played on it's triple yellow and i don't think anyone has uh explored this one yet um so let's just run it i'll change the plate out uh real quick and we'll try this one so the idea is with the time once again plate here it's going to be tough to beat the boss plate, but not everyone has a boss plate, and you can get the time once again skill plate from the skill plate picker. So let me add this one in, too. Um, whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. So you can use the choose purple to refill the yellow. And if we do this right, uh, it could potentially work very, very well for us. So we're going to go with Kofi, and then because we want to do some stuff with our Chews, we're going to bring in Acker O'Brien. So we're going to be choosing 11 purples, which is a lot. And we'll just stay on Showboat here. We'll stay on Adam Cole Showboat. Again, keep in mind, if you have a yellow uh, Fury percentage move damage medal, this is going to be a lot better. Ah, I forgot to put Rikishi in. I did. We might have to run this twice. I did want Rikishi um, for reasons you will see. So we have a yellow three match here um, on a swipe. So there's a few things you can do. It will take up a fair amount of the board, uh, or the pin bar, potentially, but uh, risk versus reward is pretty high. Let's do... I generally don't like doing these at the top, because you're not sure what's going to happen, uh, what's going to drop in. It's at least nice to have one. So I like generally doing it from here down. So, like, here... But that one's in the way, messing it up there and also there. And you're less likely to force a pin on the edges. They're safer. So, But it is what it is. We got to put it somewhere. That takes the yellow swipe there. So, okay. I guess we're going to do it like this. <sighs> we'll swipe there and put the wild card there and that should be fine-ish okay we'll see what happens there gets to be a lot of gems out here in a hurry We've already seen how good I am at putting these where I don't want to when they're glowing everywhere. So let's see if I did this right. Perfect. 
so obviously we're going to hit this guy. Big damage, 2.6 million. And then we're going to swipe the purple. And if we don't cascade, magic can happen. Because we're going to get three yellow MP. And now if we swipe the... Uh, I screwed that part up. Because I was going to say... If, oh, nope, nope. We can match three purple again. Never mind. We're good. So we're going to do this. And cascade and ruin the whole thing. Because if I didn't cascade there... Um, we hit the move again and it takes all of his life turn one. And we still have the finisher. So I will run this one again. Because I think this one is also another possibility to drain 5 million plus health on turn one. Obviously, if you cascade like I did, um, turn two, it's way over. You can just get so many purple gems out this way. There is no way I'm going to not connect the dots too much here. Does anyone else, if you're watching this and watching me struggle at seeing where to put these, does anyone else have trouble when it all starts glowing, telling whether you placed them or not? Or is that just me? This is going to do like a bajillion damage and it's over. So you can see this moveset super strong too. It does need the time once again plate, but if you don't have the boss plate, it can be kind of your saving grace. So like I said, I'm going to run it once more. Because we're going to do 5.3 million damage on turn 1 with two different movesets. Uh, one with the boss plate, one with the plate everyone can get off of the skill picker plate. Because so I have plenty of friends without a boss plate. So, if you don't have a boss plate, this one's for you. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see if this shakes out a little better. the placement looks pretty good over there I'm basically trying to now eliminate blocks of where there's you know multiple gems of the same color uh, to try and not uh, cascade And I, ideally, I'm going to swipe this three match here. And we're going to drop it down. We'll see how that works. Uh, alternatively, I'm going to put a purple match up here um, as well. And hopefully not mistakenly make a three match anywhere. Good. So we already have a lot of purples on the board. So this is going to hit super hard. And we want to put the wild card here on the bottom because it's a red, then a yellow. So um, if I grab this blue gem and swipe it right, the purple becomes the wild card. So it'll be here and fall down. Uh, in case you guys didn't know that, you can control where the wild cards go on swipes. I got the yellow match. That's fine. I'm A-OK -okay with not cascading there. That worked out great. Um, so as long as I don't choose into a mess here, we are indeed going to do 5.3 million damage turn one with two different movesets, um, for forward. One with a boss plate, one without. And then one triple yellow and one not. Crazy. It's just crazy to me how strong Ford is. And I'm glad I um, 
took some extra time on him because uh, this card is so good and so strong. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous how good he is. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, that I will call a video. 5.3 million damage. The one build, we hit at least 5.8 million. I don't know what more I can say. Go get this card, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.